Hey guys, I'm here at Oshkosh 2021 in the Lycoming booth here, and we're going to go over an engine here and just give you some uh, specifics about it and some close-up views. And I got Jeff here with me, and uh, he's going to kind of give us a uh, kind of a basic rundown and answer a few questions on this. So let's get to it. Uh, Jeff, so first question, a lot of people don't know this. Um, you know, Lycoming actually started out making sewing machines. So can you give us just kind of a quick... Uh, I guess run down on that exactly. Sure, yeah. So we started out with the uh, owner of the Lycoming um, factory, and it was Madame Demarest. She was a, started with the sewing machines, and then soon after that, it went into the bicycles. And then after doing bicycles, we did some car engines. And then after about the early 1900s, then we started building aircraft engines when Mr. Cord did that for us. What we're looking at here now, this is the uh, maybe a Lycoming 0360. Uh, what would be the, I guess, horsepower for, I guess you got a couple different versions, the fuel injection and then also just the carbureted, the, the O version. Correct. Yep. So the 360 is a power horse for the um, like homing engines. We have fuel injected, we have carbureted. Most of the 360s are 180 horsepower, but they go in lots and lots of airframes um, and they're used all over the world. Okay. Awesome. What would be the, I guess, the TBO for this? For I guess the 360 or the IO or the O or the IO 360 are they both the same TBO? Yeah, for the most part they are all of the same. They're going to be about 2,000 hours, but we do have a certain instruction which is on our website, uh, which can explain how you can go a little bit further uh, depending on how you use the aircraft or the engine. Um, and there's some notes in there depending on how much hours you use every year. You can go back to TBO time. Okay. And uh, you can go up to 400, is that correct? You can go up to 400 past it in certain circumstances, depending on how often you fly the engine every month. Yeah, okay. That's huge. I mean, that's, uh, that's what, almost 25%? We did just extend the TBO time from 2,000 to 2,200 hours. And then with that special note, that center service instruction, you can go past that as well. It's probably dozens and dozens of aircraft. And what would be two common aircraft that maybe uh, a lot of people be familiar with that this you would find this on. Sure, so 360s are, like I said, on a lot. So they are on Cessnas, they're on Piper aircraft, they're on experimental, like Vans, they're on Glaciers, mm -hmm. um, they're on you know, Raptors, they're all over the place. Yeah, a lot of Piper Arrows, they have kind of the either the uh, the 180 horse, is that pretty common? for? So, so some of them, the ones I flew in was a 200 horsepower arrow and at the angle valve 360. This is the parallel valve 360, so this is 180 horsepower. Okay. Um, some of the arrows are 200 and uh, I think maybe, I'm not sure, I know the archers are 180 horsepower. Yep. What would be the difference between an 0320 and this 0360? So the outside of the engine would be very similar. Uh, the 360 might be a little bit bigger. Uh, the biggest thing is the 320 is 100, the horsepower is 150 or 160 horsepower, mm -hmm. and the 360 starts out at 180 horsepower and goes up to 200 horsepower. It's an angle about. And that's primarily just changing the, the actual pistons and what's what's the major change there to, to get. Yeah. So it's compression and the, the different cylinders. So the higher the compression of the cylinder, the heavier the cylinder needs to be. So if you're going from 8.5 to 1 on the parallel valve to 8.7, you need to get a higher compression cylinder, which is heavier, which then increases the weight of the engine. A lot of car guys, they say, you know, I want a turbo, you know. I mean, if a guy says, you know, I like this engine, I want this, and I want a turbo on it, I mean, is that an option for something like this? Yeah, we have them. They fly them in part and obvious. It's the TIO 360. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, you can go up to altitude and keep the same density and keep the 180 horsepower up to the flight levels. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah there's mod mod many, many modifications for this. Like you said, carbureted, fuel injected. Got the turbo in there, all kinds of good stuff on there. Well, I appreciate it, Jeff. Appreciate your time and uh, explaining some stuff about this and beautiful engine. I love um, just seeing the nice showpiece here you have on the stand, and uh, it's uh, it's a nice nice presentation here. So I really appreciate it. Great, thanks for that. Appreciate yeah. it.